back in the 80s, back when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Uh, and so we often don't fully understand some of these changes taking place in education. So I think Hassan was very thoughtful in his pointing out the way in which one can develop one's own potential uh, and plot one's own uh, uh, career or real strategy. Uh, and then I think Mike also uh, worked on that same theme, talking about how in his own career, his own experiences, he was able to build on online learning, new potentials, and also entrepreneurship to start his own Eiderdang Institute and find new potentials and essentially create a path for himself, never saying no, right? but saying it's possible, which is a good theme, I think, not only in talking to other people, but in convincing yourself of your own potential. Uh, and then finally, Dr. Singh spoke uh, at length about the question of the moral content of education, which I think uh, both uh, uh, Mike and I feel very strongly about. Education should not be just learning facts, regurgitating or being a machine, uh, but has something to do with the actual meaning of one's experience, one's responsibility as a moral actor in the universe, in our society. And that's an extremely important part of what we do. It's not simply a matter of getting titles or degrees from famous universities. But the question is, how does it apply? How does it work within your own family, within your own society, and within the global community, which is, of course, an extension of your family and your commitment within your own uh, country? So I thought that was an extremely important point uh, as well. So there's a famous phrase by Peter Drucker, who is the uh, guru of management. He created the field of management really in the 1950s in the United States, although he's originally from Austria, and he said, famous line, uh, the best way to predict the future uh, is to create it yourself. Uh, what that means is uh, that in a rapidly changing environment, which is particularly true about this age, and it's changing rapidly because of the rapid expansion of technology, Moore's law, exponential rate at which uh, new technologies are developing, chips every 18 months, you have twice as many uh, uh, microprocessors you can put on a chip, more or less. Sometimes they call it Flam's law. It started with Moore, but Moore is outdated. But basically somewhere between 19 and 16 months, you double the amount of uh, microprocessors on a chip. That means the potential technology keeps going up. But humans don't change that rapidly, right? Our evolutionary uh, horizon is much different. So we have to adjust to this new environment, and that means it's a tremendous challenge to us, but it also means that you can be an entrepreneur, an innovator, create your own career, and your parents may not fully understand. In fact, I guarantee they don't understand what the new potentials are for you to create your new uh, institutions. I mean, this new global, I'm sorry. Global Youth Institute. So this has enormous potential, uh, and it's really in, the ball is in your court. But we have, uh, in terms of Dr. Singh, for example, and his work with the uh, Korea India uh, Business Technology Forum, uh, Mike's work, Mike Lambrow's work here with Ayurveda Institute, and my Asia Institute, and our work with uh, you uh, shows that there is enormous potential if we have the self confidence the moral vision and the sense of direction to create new institutions, new potentials, and you may find ultimately, and this may be somewhat shocking to you, but that those networks, those institutions, those innovations may be a more decisive factor in your career than the particular university that you went to. And this is the part that your parents may have a lot of trouble wrapping their mind around. But I think you guys can understand it, and we are here to support you uh, going forward. So thank you very much, and if we have time, we can have a little bit of the discussion. Thank you.